Father, I give you the honor, the glory, and the praises because you deserve it because of the great and awesome thing you have done in my life. Lord, I bless your name. What a great and mighty God we are serving when heaven and earth adore you and all the angels will bow before you. Cover me under your blood at this time. God, let your blood prevail. Your blood that never loses power, your blood that never loses sin, cover the studio under your blood my God and I thank you Lord for being in your presence again Lord where I can bring forth your words that will bless the heart of someone my God who is listening my God put your words into my mouth is not my will God whatever you want me to say God I will say in Jesus mighty name anoint every word that coming forth in the name of Jesus because it's not about me God it's all about you that your name will receive the glory God Thank you, Lord. Let cell die right now and let your Holy Spirit take its place. Cover the nation under your blood. Grenada carry Cupiti Martinic under your blood. Cover every home under your blood. The youths under your blood. Those that are sick under your blood. Let your healing vodka flow through them. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus. Those that are home and bed in the hospital. My God. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. God you are great and greatly to be praised and you are the same God yesterday today and forever. God that never fail and cannot fail, never change and you cannot change. Your words remain the same and even if man try to change your words, it will remain the same. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My God, I thank you for what you are going to do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Evangelist Joan Patterson from the New Awakening Ministry situated in Telescope, St. Andrews. Amen. And to Grenada Karikopiti Martinic, national and international. May God continue to bless us all as we tune up our heart. Amen. In the presence of the Lord. We need to keep our heart in tune. Amen. Praise God. We must always remember what God wants is our heart. Amen. Thank you. And today we're going to read a few scripture verse that is pertaining to the heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 13, it said that God people have abandoned him. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he is the fountain of the living water. So once we abandon the Lord, amen, we abandon the fountain of the living water. Amen. Actually, he is the living water. Praise the Lord. And we can see it today that uh, people really don't care much about God. The people only like you know, dress and go to church, you go in the church sick, you come out sick, you don't care nothing right now. People lose their desire, their passion, amen, no interest, they don't reverence God anymore. I mean, look at how things happen, amen, in the world these days, and it's happening all over. It's like a disease pass in through the churches. It's like a disease, amen, and people catching the disease, amen. It's like the eyes become blind, amen. They prefer the things of the world right now more than the things of God, amen. The material things, amen. The things of the world that catch the eyes, amen, and they lose the spiritual gift, amen. Hallelujah. So by that, we abandon the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the fountain of living water in our life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, you have your way. They have drugged themselves with crack and chrism 
and they can hold no water at all. That means there is no space for the living water in our heart anymore. Praise the Lord. But this is a call to return back to God. God wants his people to return back to him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And they will only need only need to acknowledge, amen, acknowledge their mistake, their wrong, amen, where they went wrong, how they reach in the place where they are, in the condition where they are. You need to acknowledge it, amen, and admit, hallelujah, confess, hallelujah, and return back to God, amen. Go back to that place where you belong, amen, hallelujah. I don't want to lose that fountain of living water. So by that, every day, Hallelujah. As long as I remember the Holy Spirit, remind me I keep giving God thanks and praise and pulling down stronghold and casting out every spiritual wickedness in high places. And I'm in the word. Hallelujah. That is what keeps me strong. Amen. And I search myself every day, search my heart to make sure that I am in the right place with God according to his word. Amen. Hallelujah. So we have to repent. We must confess. We must acknowledge our sins. Amen. Because what God us to reach in the condition where we are is where we are is sin. We forsake God. Amen. And we turn to our own way doing our own things. May God have mercy upon us. And you know God is such a compassionate God. He don't want us to perish hallelujah but he wants us to have eternal life and to have eternal life we must stand firm on the word of god praise the lord it's a must so even if you go astray no matter how far you've gone how, no matter how many things that you have done, but once you come back with a repented heart, asking God for forgiveness, not in your mouth, because lots of people have lip services, but not coming from the heart. So God wants you to repent, amen, from your heart. You feel sorry for the wrong things that you do from your heart, not of our lips, amen. Once you do it out of your lips, you will always fall into those situations. Amen. But you got to feel sorry for the things, what that you are doing or what you already done. So no matter how far you go, whether you end up a prostitute, a homosexual, a thief, a liar, no matter what you do, a drug addict, amen, a gambler, God is ready to forgive you once you could acknowledge your mistake and go back to God. Praise the Lord. Yes, there is a lot of backsliders in the church. Lots of backsliders. They go to church, but their heart is already Far from God, amen. Doing most of the things that the world do, amen. Lots of backsliders inside of the building, amen. And God is calling upon us to return, repent, amen, and go back to him before it is too late, amen. Praise the Lord. It is a time to go back home, amen, to God. Praise him. Jeremiah 3, 12, O Israel, come home to me again. And so God is calling upon us all over the world in the different churches to come back to him and serve him in spirit and in truth. Amen. He calling upon us to come back to him again. Amen. Because he is a merciful God. God is a merciful God, a heart 
of love and compassion. That is what he have. Again, no matter what you do, where you go, just acknowledge your sins, your failure, and come back to God. Acknowledge it and repent and go back to him. I am a merciful God, and God will be angry for a time, but not forever. Yes, God will be get gonna get angry when we doing things that is wrong over and over, and everybody just following, doing the same thing, falling into sin, temptation. Amen. No one want to stand on the word of God. God will get angry. Amen. And when God gets angry, He will act. Amen. He will act. This is God. Nobody cannot change God. Nobody cannot stop God. He is the all-powerful God. Amen. He can interrupt in our life anytime he wants. Amen. Nobody can stop him. Amen. And he has the final say. And if we really he realize, he realize that we are doing too much inside of the churches, which we supposed to be the churches inside of the building, he will intervene amen and the way he will intervene none of us wouldn't like it amen we got to say that our god not good he not loving he not compassionate but let me tell you you keep doing the wrong things over and over and you know who god is and what god stands for and when god begin to act we're going to blame god no man cannot blame god at all amen he give us enough time to search ourselves to repent repent and to turn from our evil ways so it's up to us to make that choice every man have that will power amen to say no to the enemy and his work and to say yes to god we have that will power Praise the Lord. So God is calling upon his children who backslide, amen, in the church and out of the church, those that are already gone, to come back home to him, amen. In Hosea 10 verse 12, amen, plant the good seed. We need to plant good seeds of righteousness, amen. The thing about it, we forsake the word of God, why? You think we gone astray so much. Why you think the church get cold, amen, and dry? Hallelujah. What you think caused that? Because we don't want to read the word. And even if we read the word, we're not applying the word of God in our life. And the word of God is for us, amen. Hallelujah. When we read it, we must see ourselves through the words and we must apply it. We must practice the word of God in our life because God wants us to have his character. Amen. And how can we have God's character? It comes through the word, through reading the words. Amen. While reading, we apply it, we practice in it. When situations arise in our life, we practice God's character. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We must plant seeds of righteousness and we will harvest a crop of love. Oh my God, love, love, love. Do we really love God? And if we really love God, do we love one another? And if we love one another, are we really showing it? Is it really in us? Look at the way we behave. Amen. Hallelujah. As children of God. Hallelujah. Do we really have the love of God? Do we understand what is love? Look at Jesus Christ that he gave his only begotten son into this world. Hallelujah. One that never commit any sin but to die, suffer, bleed. Oh my God. And make that himself a living sacrifice for us. That is love. What are we doing? What are we going to give to God? Amen. Are we going to give him our heart that is full of germs and, and, and disease? Amen. All kind of evil thing is in our heart. Don't forget the Bible said the heart of mankind is desperately wicked. All kind of wicked thoughts, evil thoughts, Bring up from the heart. What are we going to do? Are we going to continue to let our heart? Amen. 
Are we going to let our heart continue with this evil seeds? Amen. Or are we going to give God our heart? Let him fix it for us. God fix my heart. Amen. He fix my heart because I wanted him to fix it. I, I was eager for him to do something within me and he fixed my heart. So the old Joan has gone away and now I am new in Christ. I am a new creature. Amen. Not doing the things that I used to do or going to the place where I used to go. I am a new creature in Christ. Are you children of God are new in Christ? Amen. And you're not participating in the things of the flesh amen or other things of the world amen hallelujah once you are walking in holiness amen that means you are a child of god because when jesus christ come amen he is coming for a church that is ready he's coming for a bridegroom and we supposed to be the bridegroom of the bride of jesus christ the church is his bride amen and the bride now goes together gathered together to worship him in the beauty of holiness amen hallelujah are we really doing that what is the purpose we gather in the building what is our aim what is our desire my god help us god when i go to church i go with my mind align in christ align in his will his way and his purpose i go because i want more of christ i want Want to have a heart connection with him. I go to church and worship God because I want to be different. I don't want to be the same old person that I used to be. What is your purpose? Do your mind really align in Christ? Amen. My God is waiting upon us. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that word love, we must have love. Amen. Look at the way we behave with one another. Even inside of the building where we go to worship God as children of God. Look at our attitude, our behavior. Amen. We need to come out from that situation where we are and go back to God. God is calling upon us to return back to him. Amen. Hallelujah. But it must be done with a repentance repenting heart not with a repenting mouth oh my god with our heart well repenting acknowledging all our sins our failure our mistake confessing it before him and getting back in that place with god god don't want us to remain where we are it is time as children of god we wake up in the spiritual realm and begin to serve god Amen. And to proclaim him as king of kings. Amen. Let him glorify himself in us. Amen. Always remember that Jesus Christ would not come down again on earth and to make way and to show us the way he already did it. Amen. And everything he done is in the Bible. He leaves everything there for us well equipped. He leaves us that we can get in the words, read the words, grow in the words, practice the words, hide the words within our heart. Amen. So wherever we go, we can speak Speak of the goodness of God and the good news. Amen. Is good news. Amen. Are we ready to be disciples of Jesus Christ? Amen. And to show forth the love of God within us. Amen. Praise the Lord. We must have the love of God in our lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. We must plow the hard ground. What is the hard ground? The hard ground of our heart. Our heart is something where we need to give it to God. Say, God, my heart belongs to you. Remove every ounce of evil, bitterness, hatred, 
envy because that is in the heart of a lot of people who goes to church. Amen. Who find it hard to surrender to God. Who find it hard to commit their life to Jesus Christ. Amen. Lots of people don't know what it is to surrender to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. But this is the time where we need to take heed of the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is the time where we need to have a relationship. Can't we see what's going on in the world? Can't we hear of the things that is happening? What are we doing towards that? We just remain with a blind eyes. Amen. And not even doing anything. Not even making the effort to see God more. Amen. Walking harder. Amen. To trust God more. That God will turn things around. What are we doing? Oh God is calling upon us to return. Return back to him. Come out from your laziness. Your lackadaisical. And turn to God. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants our heart. He don't want your outward appearance because he deals with the heart. He speaks to us through the heart. Amen. He connects with us through the heart. Not through the outward appearance, but through the heart. Amen. What are we going to do? Amen. Hallelujah. Are we going to give God our heart? Is only God can fix our heart. Amen. If we don't give it to him, he cannot enter and just take charge and walk through us. We must say, yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way, my God, I will trust you and obey. And God, when your spirit speak to me with my whole life, I will agree. And my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. We sing those beautiful choruses in the church. We sing it because we know how to sing it. But do we understand the meaning of these words? Do we allow the words to penetrate in our heart? Amen. Do we ready to commit our life to Jesus Christ? I trust God. Amen. To those who are listening to the sound of my voice, the Holy Spirit will begin to move as you listen and will bring changes in the name of Jesus. It is time to return back to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I had asked, I had was to surrender my life. Oh my God. And I had to examine my heart, which was one of the hardest thing to do. I had was to give God my heart. I had was to let go, let go the throne and let go. God take control. Amen. If you go to hold on to the old you, you will never see your way in the spiritual realm. You will just be spinning top in mud. Amen. Hallelujah. And especially when some of us do so many things and we cannot forgive our own self. My God. Hallelujah. When you cannot forgive yourself, you cannot rise up in God. Amen. You must forgive yourself. You must forgive others. Amen. Whoever you are. My God, you have to able to ask for forgiveness or to forgive those who you hurt. Amen. Hallelujah. Because many times we forgive others, but we not prepare to let go to forgive our own self. We must. It. We serve in a big God who can fix it all for us. Why are we going to carry our own all you within us. Why are we going to carry it? When Jesus Christ died on the cross, he paid it all for us. So all our load of burden, all our worries, our pain, our bad attitude, our dirty attitude, we got to bring it before the throne of God. Give it to God. Let him fix it for us. Why are we going to carry it? Amen. Praise the Lord. I give God my all. Amen. <clears throat> Now, if any person 
outside there want to carry it for me they could i don't have a problem but whatever they do or say it don't take no effect of john because god already take my old me and dump it in the sea of forgetfulness amen hallelujah i can give god all the praises whoever want to carry whoever want to talk so be it amen praise the lord but god already walk it out for me that's why anywhere i go i can worship god in the beauty of his holiness i can lift him up i can proclaim him without no fear no doubt in my life because i know what god has done oh hallelujah god is sweet praise the lord my god i thank you thank you jesus continue to have your way hallelujah my god you are awesome and amazing who said that god cannot turn things around who said that god cannot change your life around amen he's waiting the reward of repentance are conditional amen get read if anything that takes you away from me anything that you're holding in your heart that is standing as a hindrance between you and god be fornication adultery homosexual lesbian lying gossiping mischief backstabbing envy whatever it is that is in your heart let it go because all these things is of the flesh and these things are stopping you blocking you from reaching your destiny in christ amen let it go why carry it when it's an evil spirit that is destroying us from reaching our gold amen hey hallelujah you think the devil wants to see any one of us serving god but you have to be determined that you want God. You have to be determined. Do you feel comfortable where you are going to church every Sunday morning and just going back home? No, nothing in your life. No strange thing in your life. No moving of the Holy Spirit. Nothing. You go empty. You come out empty, my God, and dead. You're ready to back, back, bite and pull down everybody in the church. Gossip against everybody in the church. In the pastor preacher about something and it, 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 it. Um, it make you feel guilty amen instead of you want to, you're trying to change your ways and your attitude and giving it to god you're ready to pull down pastors and pull down this and pull down that you better stop it and get your act together the spirit of god the spirit of god will convict us of every wrong thing it's not the pastor the pastor have a right to preach anything that godly on their heart they could preach they have the right to preach no pastor have to um um, be up there and preach on prosperity no you have to preach sin when jesus christ was on earth he preached all about sin amen he preached about the wrongdoing and thousands of people get saved they turn away from their wicked ways look at the woman that was caught in adultery caught and he spoke to her and he tell her go and do it no more and she don't do it anymore amen she became a child of god the thing about it we become too stubborn and rebellious and when the pastors which we want to eat on the pastors because we know we are guilty and we are doing the wrong things but we got to stop it we got to stop it the word of god is to convict us from our sins amen the word of god is to make us whole the word of god is to change our heart the word of god is to make us be different in life that's the purpose of the word of god amen can somebody change their ways for god amen so love the world we must love one another amen we saying that we go to church every day and we have no love we cannot show love we want to eat up one another are right inside of the church people of god stop it stop it in the name of jesus this is time to break up chain and crush up all the plans of the enemies can we see what the devil is doing in our life the devil is destroying the churches he have his agents inside the church and he using his own people to do all type of wickedness people stop it don't let the enemy use you like that it is time to wake up and return to god amen is only God can fix it all. God can fix your heart. Hallelujah. But your kingdom must end. For the Lord has sought out a, sought a man after his own heart. Amen. Can God say that about you? Can God say that about you and I? Amen. 
Hallelujah. He found a man. He have a man out of his own heart. Amen. The Lord has already appointed him as leader. Amen. Over his people, a lot of us try to make ourselves leaders. Amen. We try to do our own thing, not chosen by God. But the sweetest thing is when you are chosen by God to do God's will. Amen. Because God knows our heart. He knows those that are his. We cannot fool God. We cannot hide from God. Amen. Never ever. Amen. Hallelujah. So plowing up the hard ground in our heart. Amen. Do not waste your good seed among tons. Oh, peace. People of Israel, people of Judah, people of Jerusalem. God is speaking to us today. Do not waste your seed. Amen. Oh, give God your heart. Begin to get rid of all the hardness of your heart and turn to Jesus today. The pride, pride is one of the killer in the church. Pride is a disease. Amen. And partly everybody full of pride. You're not humble. Amen. God wants us to be humble. We full of pride and yet we don't know if pride in. Based on the conversation that comes from your mouth. We know in Mr. Pride standing up. Mr. Pride exposing us. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants us to humble ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you, Jesus. Oh God, you are awesome, my God. Thank you, thank you. So let us turn from our ways and turn to Jesus. Amen. By plowing up the hard ground of our heart. Amen. Plow it up. Give God the heart. Give God the heart. Turn to Jesus today. Amen. He is willing to forgive you and to strengthen you. Amen. Hallelujah. Once you remain in God, God will remain in you. Amen. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it is served from the wine. Amen. And you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in him. We could never, ever be fruitful once we're not in Christ. Amen. So God bless us all. It's a time. It's a call for return back to God in the spiritual realm. God bless you.